In April of 1815, on a remote Indonesian island, a mountain exploded. The eruption of Tambora was the largest in modern history, a cataclysmic event unheard of by the wider world. A vast shadow of ash and gas began to creep across the globe. This wasn't just dust. It was a veil of sulfate aerosols, a global sun dimmer that lingered in the stratosphere, reflecting sunlight back into space and altering the planet's climate. The next year, 1816, became known as the year without a summer. Europe and North America saw brown snow in June, killer frosts in July, and relentless icy rain through August. Crops failed, famine spread, riots erupted over the last scraps of bread. Trapped indoors by the endless gloom at a villa in Switzerland, a group of young English writers grew restless. The world outside felt apocalyptic, and their holiday was a washout. To pass the time, they challenged one another to write a ghost story. One of them, a teenager, struggled for an idea, feeling the pressure to create something truly terrifying. Then, a waking nightmare gave her a vision, a monster brought to life. That terrifying image, born from a sunless summer holiday, would become one of the most famous horror stories ever written. A global catastrophe had sparked the birth of a literary monster. The volcanic ash eventually settled and the seasons returned. But the story conceived in that darkness has haunted us ever since, a legacy of a year the sun forgot.